Hey, things are not what you think. Yeah, there's always something you don't know. <coughs> Welcome to Joey's Real Talk. <laughs> so that's actually what we're here to talk about today for the Friday three o'clock special segment called、uh, Real Talk. And today we've invited once again Nancy and surprise, surprise,、uh, Philip is not here today. He is on his way back home to Canada. So we've instead invited、uh, Alex Lewis, our uh, other. Uh, ca- the news team cast、uh, right here in the studio. So what's up, you two? Good to I, have you here. I love how you didn't know what to call Alex. You're like Alex, our other.、Uh, d- 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 <laughs> yeah, I know that because I actually never. Okay, here's the, the thing. Dude, the Let's dude start today's conversation <laughs> with like a short interview with Alex because、right. I never got Alex to come up to the midday show and just have a He chat. He is notoriously elusive and private <laughs> and mysterious. Right, right. Yeah, I think you know the mystique is adding <laughs> to like a lot of people are listening to this.、Uh, his Who voice is that like,、oh, dude、yeah. with the voice? Okay, so how about just a thing or two about Alex?、Um, where are you from? And、uh, let's start with that. Where are you from? So I was born here.、Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's and I moved around a lot. Long story. Yeah, <laughs> I lived here for 13 years and then moved to Seoul, Korea, for two years. Oh, really? Beijing for three. Yeah. Okay. And then I went to Boston for college. And I worked there for a bit, and I call Washington D.C. my home. All right, so you technically hail from、uh, D.C. Now、uh, you've been with us for has it been what two, three months?、Um, around that, something like that. Okay, so y- usually you've been doing the morning news, and today, thanks to Philip, who decides to you know skip out of his、uh, <laughs> responsibilities and、uh, go back home, we got Alex here for the、uh, ICRT Real Talk. Yay! Okay, so today is going to be essentially a game. Uh, we're gonna explore some of the uh, cultural uh, customs of、uh, Taiwan, and then Nancy's gonna bring us some topics, right? Yeah, I'm also gonna bring some ammo.、Uh, yeah, <clears throat> ammo for so- soft, soft-ish ammo. Sort of like a punishment. Yeah, Ner- yeah, yeah. Nerf guns. Nancy's got Nerf guns, basically. <laughs> and、uh, if we, if Alex and I cannot get the right answer,、uh, then we might actually take a bullet to our face. <laughs> well. I、we、might not always、violence. aim、right. for the But, face. Yeah, Nancy's gonna try to go easy on us. There's、Let's、some there's、that. some aggression that I'm working through. <laughs> But、um, today we're talking about、uh, superstitions, right? Exactly. So I'm going to list、um, a superstition, and then I'm going to explain it, and then you guys will have to guess the reasoning. Behind the superstition or the tradition. Okay,、right. and we. By the way, we're Facebook living, so we're streaming today's game. So if you、Facebook. would like, yeah. So if you would like to see Joey get shot、uh, with a soft you, nerf gun, with a soft nerf gun. What makes you think I'm going to get shot? I mean, hearing it and seeing it are two.、Uh, wait, hearing it and then hearing it and seeing it are two different things. <laughs> so you know, just saying. All right, fine.、Uh, so we actually asked our listeners to write in to some of the things, some of the superstitions they have experienced with、uh, that they quite. Can't quite understand. So we have someone from the U.S. of A., someone from Canada, someone from Germany and South Africa.、Uh, these are just the topics, Alex. <laughs> I don't have the answers because、okay. he's going like, he's like cheating already. Getting、yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the answers around the phone. All right, Nancy, get to it. Let's get to the first one. Okay, okay. So the first one is from an American. Okay. And he says this.、Uh, he's 50 years old. Am I supposed to list the ages? Or in his 50s? I think these are general. In his 50s. Okay. So he says.、Um, He's found out that he's he's noticed that when you pass、uh, a funeral or some kind of accident, you're not supposed to turn back to look at it. Okay. Not supposed to turn back to look. 不能回头看 That seems to is it because you might be like haunted and you might go home and have bad dreams. Oh, that's my guess. Anyways, that's your guess. I'm yeah, prepping the、yeah. the ammo. Already. <laughs>、oh、<my> <laughs> well, you know. You won't you won't tell which one of us is you know got it right. Well, Alex right? has got to give his answer、that. first. Okay, what's yours, Alex? Um, because you're gonna get into an accident yourself. You know what? Straight up. I mean, okay, hold up. Yeah. Can I change road, my、man. answer? That because that's a good one. No. And <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe just let me offer a different perspective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's this thing called、uh, Shui Gui that I used to, you know, like there are movies about that, like right, ghosts right. in the water, and apparently they need to find a substitute so that they can, like, reincarnate because、right. you're stuck in the limbo or something. Like seven years away. Y- yes. Well, so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So they need to find someone to substitute so that their spirit can be re- reincarnated, and you know, you, you instead、uh, take their place. Right. That's why you're not supposed to go swimming during Ghost Month, right? Because I, I, apparently, that's like the July or June. That's when you're supposed to be. 
Yeah, so staying ghosts away from the water. of people who previously drowned will you know, stay in the water to look for people who come to the beach or something. Like that. That's the superstition. Right. So maybe it has something to do with this. <clears throat> of course, that's not my original answer. So, oh, okay, oh, yes. right in the net. Yes, that felt, hey, that felt <laughs> got oh, me uh, all, uh, I'm wide awake right now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, now you're just going to screw that everybody. <laughs> well, you're both wrong. Okay. Discriminate. Yeah, I, I think Nancy does have some really good. anger issues. She's yeah. right. Really good. Okay, okay. So the proper explanation, although Joe, you're kind of close, the proper explanation is that um, if you turn back and look, you might a, a ghost or a spirit might follow you home. Oh, really? So I'm assuming that's not what he said. He no, that's said, not what I said. Nightmares. I said they're gonna take your, you're gonna take their place, but oh. follow you home. Like how? If you look at them. I guess. Okay. You know what? For girls in nightclubs, I think they know exactly what, what? this means. <laughs> oh, dude. When, like, oh, well, you, know, you know, like when, when someone gives you, <laughs> passes you a look, and then if you dare look back, they're going to like come right at you. I yes. should just shoot you for that comment, too. I guess so. Um, I guess it's assuming that at a funeral and at the scene of a, an accident, maybe somebody's spirit has become separated or untethered, and so they're okay. wandering around looking for something to latch onto. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. I see. Okay. All right. All right uh, that that, that seems to make some sort of sense. I think you should continue getting all the answers wrong. Okay. Let's all go right. for another round. All right. Okay. So the next one, um, oh, this one's kind of, okay. So she finds, uh, this is a, another American. She's a woman in her thirties. She finds, um, the concept of burning paper money to be different from what she's used to. Um, and she asks, why do we put everybody in towers? You know, um, oh, the, oh, towers. Yeah, like um, those places where we put people after we cremate them and we put them in a little urn, an urn and yeah. then the urns all go in the towers. Do, okay, ho actually, I've never been to one of those towers. I have. Are they really towers? Me too. Um, they say a tower, are. But they're like a structure and we can put a whole bunch of, bunch of uh, urns in there. How do you reach to the top how do you reach to the top like do you need a ladder or they have a ladder it depends there's a lot of different facilities but generally they're like apartment complexes except they're smaller rooms That's that would be it. my answer <laughs> <All right. laughs> and then like each of each right. of the actual rooms they have like rows and rows and columns and columns and then usually you pay more for the ones that are at like face level or standing height and then as you get lower and or higher then those ones cost a little bit less okay so this person's asking why do we do that yeah why do we do that why do we put urns with ashes in towers allow me to prep my alex what's yeah. your guess load the gun um yeah. that's a really loud cocking noise i can hear that i'll try to do it quietly <laughs> like, i i like how you gave me the seat right next to her <laughs> <laughs> get blasted close range you didn't you're not even using your you can use your shield alex is not using his i decided yeah. to be a man yeah like i'm gonna man up just yeah or woman up take your shirt <laughs> yeah, up, okay. yeah. <laughs> pull the pants up um so my guess would be uh ghosts need a place to live too Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but why Jeez. do we put them in towers? I think that's the no point clue. of why do we put them in towers? I'm gonna say basically what Nancy said. We put people in condos because they were running out of space. So mm. do we put people in our dead people in towers because you know there's just not enough space to put the urns? Whoa! Oh. Shot at, shots fired Thank at you. Alex. Thank you. Reload. Did I Thank get it you. right? You kind of did, although I'm I'm rather disappointed. Um, yeah. So apparently, I, I mean, uh, Wait, I think. Hold on. Let me just what? say that Nancy's disappointment is worse than taking what? this shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Uh, I think in Taiwan generally there's not a lot of space. I think in North America maybe in Europe um, we're more used to like burial like uh, putting in a coffin like in and the in the ground yeah. yeah and then in Taiwan obviously we have a large population but not as much space so I think the government generally encourages cremation as an option okay. that's a little bit more environmentally friendly I would have originally guessed that we put <clears throat> them in towers because we want them to be closer to the heavens but mm. you said that the ones at the you know the ground levels actually have to pay more so I'm guessing that's not it no the ones at standing height because usually when your relatives come to visit you they get to see you they get to look right at 
at you as opposed to kneel down, I guess, or stand. I want to be at the top so I can look down at my descendants. <laughs> well, you be sure to let them know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Throw it at us. Okay. Oh, uh, and we burn paper money because we believe that uh, Taiwanese people believe that they can use that paper money in the afterlife. Oh, right. 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 Okay. Okay. So third one. Um, this is from a Canadian man in his 30s. He says, "Why do brides have to care?" Or oh, when, when they get married, like on the day of their wedding, why do they have to carry a wear a rice sieve thing over their head? It's like made of bamboo and it's woven and it's circular, and then you cover your head with it. That does all me some me shy shy right yeah 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 um yeah I don't know. It has to do with some like traditional expectations of the role of female. In the household, right? What's your guess? Do, have you seen those things? Ellen? No, not at all. This is the first time I've heard of it. Uh, I have no clue. Have you been to any <laughs> wedding? Like, has any of your, one of your friends married a Taiwanese girl, and you're you've been to their weddings and seen some of these? Traditions? I have not. Okay. Yeah. I've seen. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. Our producer is taking down the house over there. <laughs> okay. So Sorry. why is it that they have that thing over their head? Um, Take a guess. So I can see, shoot you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Is it like to take the place of a veil? Right? Ah. So it's like back then they didn't have a veil, so maybe it's just like what whatever is available. Yeah. Okay, that's a that's a pretty good guess. I would have never thought about yeah. that. What? Why? Are you guys trying to take shots at us and you're just failing miserably? Our producers are yeah. having interfering. fun with the gun. Uh, All right. Why a sieve? I'm I'm gonna. Oh gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna guess it has something to do with like good luck. Like hopefully there's always rice in the house or something like that. Mm. Oh, I missed. You completely missed. missed. What? That's okay. I have a Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got me. You go. Okay, okay now. Calm down. Calm okay, down. Okay, you guys are both Actually, wrong. Actually, I have a bell here. Every time I want you guys to simmer down. <laughs> order, order. Order in the house, please. Okay. Okay, okay so um, this is worn because uh, bri people believe that the bride on the day of her wedding, she is uh, the, 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 the most important thing in the world, or the quote-unquote biggest thing in the world. That sounds bad when Where you say it in thing? English. Why don't you say person? Mm -hmm. Way to objectify. Because, because the reason they wear that on their head is because you cannot be bigger or more important than the heavens. Oh, so I see. The only thing bigger or more important than you as a bride is the heavens. So she has to cover her her head from the, the heavens thing. not yeah, to yeah. offend the gods or not to offend the gods. Oh, really? That's interesting. I've cool. also heard that like two brides cannot see each other. Like brides cannot meet on the on the day of their wedding, which is hard now because a lot of wedding venues have multiple weddings going on at the same time. So they actually have people on like walkie talkies coordinating. They're mm -hmm. like, okay, bride A, the, you know, the bird has left the coop or whatever, and <laughs> then they walk and they walk and then they hold bride B in her room until bride A has passed, and they do this whole like. It, pro it may have something to do thing. with like the groom might just not recognize <laughs> the bride <laughs> and get really confused. <laughs> All right, because yeah. it's his wedding. <laughs> and what else do you do at your wedding but, you know, have a few beverages? Anyway, okay, let's continue uh, with on. our conversation after this short break right here on ICRT. Uh, yeah. right now, right now, right now, it's commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so if you ever have seen some superstitions or uh, <laughs> strange <laughs> customs in Taiwan that you can't quite interpret, you can't quite decode, uh, share that with us. I'm going to share that with our listeners and see if someone can somehow give you a good answer. Uh, today we covered quite a few, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
。然后我刚刚就开玩笑讲说，就是女生在夜店的时候，有点像是大家在事故现场，就是如果说男生看过来，你不能随便看回去，要不然他会误会，然后就走过来，然后就很难解难难舍难分，很很麻烦啊，就很难就是摆脱他们。So anyway， 那我们可以经验很多，在耍丢没有啊我？我都是被看的，是不是？哎呦，我来这来，我来。Oh, oh, <笑>好，然后第二题是问说，为什么要台湾人啊？都主要都是台湾人或者是中国人，为什么会把骨灰坛放进骨灰塔？然后是因为。呃，空间不够，真的是因为空间不够。可是我我觉得也是，就是大家觉得那是应该要集中在一个地方 ，and not so much leave it at home。我觉得其实我们本来也有考虑要不要放在家里，可是好像台湾就比较不能接受这种做法。所以就是还是集中在一个 for them especially 的地方。Philip 有留言诶。Philip 讲什么 ？Philip 说 ，You can't give shoes, clocks, or umbrellas for gifts.、Oh. Yeah, clocks 是因为送钟，听起来不好。And then shoes 就是叫人家走人， yeah. 走人嘛。You're telling your friend to go away or whoever you give it to. And then umbrella 伞 is also the same character for、uh, coming apart or separating. So that's also indicating that you want to end a relationship or a friendship. So there you go.、Yeah. You know how there's a song called "Fifty Ways to Leave Your Lover." Well, here in Taiwan, there's many more to like drop hints. So if you want to break up with someone, I guess you could do that. You know, 送伞，送鞋子，不能送钟啊。送伞送鞋子。如果你不是想要跟谁分手的话，你就可以送伞送鞋子。然后前一阵子不是有一个外交官被送表，来，然后就很不爽，被一个德国德国人，对不对？应该不是柯文哲吧？我记得是一个，因为柯文哲讲话事情就会很大。我我记得应该不是他。Anyway， 然后因为就是外国人不懂那习俗嘛，然后他就在那边打工。可是我觉得这件事情就是别人本来就不懂我们台湾的文化。谁、啊嗯、知道送钟是送钟啊？而且那是表表跟钟不一样吧？他们连。他们连送钟什么都不知道。Yeah, yeah, yeah. Philip, but Philip says he's also heard that shoe too because 邪跟邪恶的邪是同音的 ，so it could be that too. Oh, same as evil, 邪恶的邪。Okay. 但我是我以前是学是走了，送你走。反正送钱是绝对是没有问题的。Yeah. 请不要送钱。一定要放红包里面。Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be what we talk about. 有人说是柯文哲，是柯文哲，真的是柯文哲哦。嗯、是是哦，这件事情是柯文哲是是 ，OK。耶，所以柯文哲有俩公哦。我记得是有，或者是媒体把他炒的很大。应该是媒体把他炒起来的。对啊。可是我记得柯文哲送别人东西好像是，还是收还是送还是柯文哲送人家表。可<笑>以可以可以，可以 yeah, 有人知道吗？对对对。我有点忘记到底细节是什么，但因为这种新闻就是看到就翻白眼，这位 Steve Steven Steven 先生。Okay. Steven Steven. Anyway, uh, another ten minute segment. What is going on? Take. Oh, All right. Whoa. Okay. okay. Welcome、Sorry. back. Nancy couldn't wait to be on the air. Yes. Welcome back to the midday show. Today, for the real talk, we're gonna be、uh, decoding some of the most common customs or、uh, practices, cultural practices or superstitions here in Taiwan. And we have、uh, Nancy Sun and Alex Lewis, our news teamcaster, right here joining us in the studio. What's up, guys? I said I wasn't gonna shoot Joey in the face. You just did. And then. <laughs> During the commercial, or during, yeah, during the commercial break, I shot him in the face. In case you just joined us, what she means <laughs> is our interns has brought in some Nerf guns, <laughs> and if we get our answers incorrect、uh, answers, then we get shot by Nancy. You know what the problem is with you, Joey? You、judge. slouch. See, if you weren't slouching and you were sitting straight up, I'd have a bigger target, and it, then it wouldn't just be your face above the desk. It's a defensive tactic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine, I'll sit up. <laughs> okay. Gosh, you're like a mom. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So wait, am I gonna have... get shot right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Okay, we have somebody、uh, on Facebook who says, "Oh no, Zhang 什么词 Oh, 对不起。你好，我帮你念吗？等一下，我要我叫 intern 帮我念掉。Okay. Zhang intern 不是也是英文比较强吗？好，好算了。拿来，拿来，拿来，我来念。好好好，周一念 ，sorry. 张云慈，张云慈，这个是云吧 ？Right. And she says, or he says, she says, 
She says, can't write name with red pen. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's a big right. one. Yes. And I don't know why. Um, Nobody knows. It's just bad luck. Wait, wait, wait. I think I know the answer. Uh, okay, I'm ready to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is only because um, one of my grandparents has passed away. Uh. So what they do is they'll write a plaque, and to save production costs, I guess, they'll write both uh, the grandparents' names on the plaque. One of them will be in gold for the one that oh. hasn't passed away, and the one that has, I think, is in red. I think. So if you write it in red, it means you've passed. But in gold, it means you haven't. Oh. And maybe it translates to, you know, don't use red, red pens to write your, write your names. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, Philip Broussard says it means you will kill them. Whoa. Whoa. Philip, you're just dark. On I don't one. know. Anyway, Philip is uh, currently in the airport waiting for his flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also... It will cut your lifespan short. Jeez Louise. Is it just your name or is it anybody's name? Anybody's uh, name. Uh, I yeah, guess just, you're cursing them. Don't do names in red. Because and then, I guess bloodshed. Blood is red. Right. That's what it's implying. Or do if you don't like the person. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no judgment, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be writing Nancy's name in red uh, after this. I forget you shot so much. Uh, but That's and, another one. <laughs> and, and another a, one. Amy Chia, Chia sorry, says, uh, don't pick up the red envelope on the road. I know that one. Okay, well, you guys better guess. <laughs> Why can't you pick up red envelope on a road? Yeah. yeah. Wait, just like it's just lying there on the it's road. It's just lying there on the road. Because it's money that doesn't belong to you. It's not yours. Yeah. See, we're, we're off. Oh, why well, is it? <laughs> we have nice the same people. answer. I, I don't understand why too. Okay. Okay. That was way so, below that. What's that about? Yeah. <laughs> come on now. Up, up here, please. Yeah. To the important yeah. parts. I, eyes okay. up here. Thank you. <laughs> Wherever you think your money maker is. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. So I think the red envelope is because it's uh, generally if you pick it up, then that means that you owe somebody something, or like some spirit will follow you, or there's like a contract that comes with picking up the money. Okay. Mark. Oh, you mean like this is like Chinese or Taiwanese? Wait. Voodoo. No. 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 Our producers are telling me I'm full of it. Oh, we're great. That's okay. So apparently if you pick up the money, then you have to get married to somebody. Or you take... Okay, they're rolling their eyes at me. Wait, <laughs> but it... Ming 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 oh, oh, it means... Married to a ghost. person who's deceased. That's not that bad. I Is feel like right? there's... <laughs> I, <laughs> Alex is like, not any responsibilities. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> Pay less taxes. I, mean, Pay less. Yeah. I think, I think there's positive. more to that story than, you know, what we were talking about right now. I'm here. sorry. If I said it wrong, somebody please correct yeah, me. Yeah, I comments. think there's much more to that story. <laughs> so Why I shot would... you guys for nothing? Yes, basically. All right, then. You made you shoot yourself. No. <laughs> and there's also uh, cultural is. practices like um, uh, <laughs> don't give anyone um, a clock as a gift don't get anyone shoes as a gift right umbrellas. umbrellas it all most of it means either you're giving them bad luck or you're ending the relationship or telling them you want to end the the friendship because it sounds like something bad in chinese like phonically basically yeah okay mm -hmm. see somebody says to Ch Ch Lu says to marry somebody who's dead yeah that's the red weird. envelope but thing. why would you why would someone want you to marry someone that's because you know... it's good luck for them or it's, it's I, I think okay i'm not sure if this is right but like i think people who pass away young or maybe you know, maybe kids who passed away. Maybe. I think their parents will try to marry them off after <laughs> death or we something. We need to put on I, some I've scary of, music. I, I, oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. Keep talking. I right. think I got those Okay, and up. then another person, Cho Yi Small. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> says, you can't stick chopsticks in the bowl. I get that all the time. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's annoying when you lay down your chopsticks and then they roll off the bowl. Oh. And so you have to stick mm -hmm. them in the rice. And then somebody says that. Why, why do you think that is, Alex? Oh man! Why can't uh, you stick? It's like it like signifies death. I what? think, is what I heard. Yeah, actually, that's pretty close. Yeah. Okay, so apparently, if you stick your chopsticks in and make them like stick it in the food in the bowl and make them stand up, then that it's like um cha xiang. What is that called? The incense. The incense sticks, right? And that's supposed to signify like. Oh, death because when you buy bai, you stuff. do put incense into rice. So I guess. Oh, you do? It resembles it. Yeah. Oh, yes, you In the do. rice, really? In the rice, yeah, yeah. Oh. Or at least they do as it. A, as we an do offering to the spirits or the deceased? Good. Something like that. This has suddenly turned into like a Halloween episode. I know. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of the, you know, Asian superstitions have to do with, you know, the afterlife, I suppose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, do we have a couple more Can, uh, yes, from we our do. listeners? Uh, yes, Oh, from our listeners. Yes, we do. Okay, so the next one says, uh, Like forever? Okay, so after Chinese... <laughs> New Year's Day, you cannot take a bath and you cannot clean, like uh, sweep up. Until the 5th. 
This oh, is or from something, a, right? This is from a German guy in his 30s. Uh, mm. Because you're too busy partying. That's oh, all you oh, okay. oh, you're yeah. so going to get shot. <laughs> I'm going to do that right now. Oh, my okay. gosh. But go, Alex. Alex, go. what's your answer? Oh, man, I don't even know. Uh, is it because that you... I don't know, just shoot me. <laughs> yes. try. No clue, Why can't you sweep the floor um, or take one, a shower? This one's pretty common. It uh, because you would sweep away or wash away your oh, your good luck, your good luck, oh, your yes, Taiyun, your wealth and your prosperity. Uh, for four days though. That. I don't know. Shout, not showering for four days. That seems though? excessive. That's a little hard. Well, I'm just cocking. When when is the right moment to start showering? Like when you think bad luck has struck, and, and then you're like, okay, well, that's the end of my good luck anyway. So. <laughs> when the flies start circling, I guess. I don't know. I suppose. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Next one. Um, a pregnant woman cannot hold, use scissors. This is from an American dude in his 30s. Wait, 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 wait. Cannot hold used scissors or hold or use scissors? Hold or use scissors. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Um, Okay, this got this has got to be something to do with the spirit of the child. So you might you might sever your connection with the child. I don't know. Wow, Alex. What the heck? Hey. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say because you might hurt yourself, but that sounds I, way that's, better. That's a very that's <laughs> a legit on. one. You know what? Really I putting me to shame here, man. I think we should be right. Like superstition or not, superstition is... or not, like pregnant women or anybody should not be running around with scissors. <laughs> you don't get points for logic on this show. <laughs> What is Sorry. it then? What is Clearly. it? Uh, Philip Broussard also guessed uh, cut the pregnancy short. Um, actually, it's 剪到胎神. 剪是剪到, like find, pick up. No, I think to cut. That's a cut, Baz. Okay, our producers cannot type Chinese. Uh, <laughs> yeah, apparently, like you offend the gods or you accidentally harm the, the, the god who's in charge of keeping the baby healthy and safe. So, okay, okay. No scissors. All right. Okay, last one. Uh, you cannot. You cannot whistle during, I think this is after midnight. Oh, yes. I've no heard whistling this one. after midnight. This is from a South African woman who's in her 20s. I think just at night. You can't do it at night, 6 to 12, after or dark. even the next morning after dark. Dark time. Yeah. And it has something to do with. Because there are a lot of. <gasps> oh, someone just turned on the light. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Tricky. Because there's a lot of. Tricky. Dogs. Wild dogs at night, and they're oh, going to be coming to the neck. Oh, neck. Man. Okay. Uh, uh, well, yeah, me and Nancy talked about this before, so you better not shoot me. <laughs> yeah, the answer probably got the right answer. Attract ghosts. Uh, yeah, uh, that's right. That's yeah. right. But why would whistling attract ghosts? I don't know. Actually, it does not say. I better shoot myself. Okay. Yeah. Why? Ah, Someone's got to explain that. You mean, you know, why? 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 Oh, uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. I'm good. Oh, my toenail. Sorry. Uh, so, okay. I got a write in from uh, one of our listeners, Chaco, uh, who this has nothing to do with, I think, uh, superstitions, but she mm. says, um, uh, I found some cultural differences between Japan and Taiwan in this five years. And by the way, this, this okay, song is not doing that. it for me. Yeah, I need yeah, something happier. Uh, and uh, she says, uh, I want to tell you all, uh, but I pick one that I never understood. This is exactly not a custom. Why Taiwanese people visit their... Oh, okay, here's... Why do Taiwanese people visit their parents very often? <laughs> she says, most of my uh, friends and colleagues go back to, home, to their hometown to see their parents once a week uh, or every two weeks, at least uh, once a month. And uh, she says uh, she, she visits them like twice a year for New Year's and Bond Festival only in Japan. I'm not sure what Bond Festival is in Japan, but huh. twice a year for most Japanese. Or I don't know if she speaks for the majority of Japanese people, but... Maybe hmm. Taiwan is smaller than Japan, like geographically speaking. And so people sometimes move further away from their parents as opposed to Taiwan, where even if you went from north to south, you could make the trip in how many hours now? Three hours, I think, by high-speed rail. I can't remember. I guess. Wait, north to south, like Taipei yeah, to yeah. Kaohsiung. Yeah. That's like an hour. An hour, there Two you go. Two hours, maybe. Right, Thank if you, you take the HSR. Yeah. Right, so... But, and even by bus, it's like six hours. But that's transportation. But yeah. I think culturally, I mean, uh, Taiwanese people do happen to see their... to meet their parents a lot, right? More mm. frequently than... 
In that sense, we're more like Italians. We're very, you know, family oriented. Well, so we, we live in the same city, here. me and my parents, so. Okay. I have no excuse. Wait, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. is that? Oh. So you don't want to. You guys hear that? Yeah. Your parents hear that? <laughs> wow. What about again? you, Alex? How often do you see your parents? Right now? Yeah. I live with them right now. Oh, okay. But before, so. I would see them maybe once every two years or something like that. Jeez Louise. Wow. Yeah, different was, countries, though. Different countries, yeah. Yeah, I see my parents quite often, too. Like, I make sure that wherever I move, I'll re- try to locate myself close to them so that I can see them. Some like, people try to locate... Them. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like in ne- the same like Mecca. direction. Yeah. Some people try to avoid being too. Close. Wake up every morning, have my first cup of coffee in that yeah, direction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Chaco, we don't know. That's the bottom line, actually. Why do we see our parents more frequently? Maybe you guys can more. answer us. Yeah, or you yeah, know, so. so we say. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Let's just also say that's it. Says uh, wearing red clothing to a funeral. Oh. Is that a superstition? That's, that's kind of like not wearing white to white. Because uh, white usually is uh, correlated with death. And, and black. And, and, and black. Yeah. And Red is... Actually, truth. no, black with black is a Western thing. Black and death is a Western thing. Yeah. In, in Asia, uh, white, only white has to do with death. Black doesn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And red is usually, you know, lucky or, you know, good. Uh, okay. Or Auspic- scary. Auspicious. But, uh, auspicious, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Cat manicure nails at night, Francois Liu. Yeah. yeah, see. Or maybe right. you can you can clip them. You just can't manicure them. Maybe you can like <laughs> file them down manually. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, this is dragging on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so if you have anything to share, make sure you join us in the uh, Facebook uh, the Facebook live chat and let us know if there are any other superstitions or uh, cultural practices that we left out that you didn't quite understand when you first came to Taiwan. And today, as we usually had to invite a couple of guests, and today is Alex Lewis and Nancy Sun. Thank you both for joining us. All right, there's another shot fired. <laughs> Here's Smash Mouth with a song called I'm a Believer here on ICRT FM 100. Hello, handsome and gorgeous. Thank you for watching our video. If you like more general shenanigans or artist interviews, please make sure you click to the next video, but also make sure you subscribe to us by pressing the bell button down here because we like to tell you more about fun stuff coming up.